It's on the floor. Ah! He made it! Oh my! University, we've got women's volleyball on deck between the Huntington University Foresters and the Bethel Pilots. Platt Arena growing a little older here as we've seen several sporting events now in this new venue. A couple of good looks at the campus in the new Platt Arena produced by students here at Huntington University along with FDN Sports. I'm Preston Husband. We've got another exciting matchup coming up between the Pilots and Huntington University. The Pilots coming in, playing really well this season, sitting at 23-5, and 11-5 in the conference, and they are perfect in non-conference this play. So their five losses did come within the Crossroads League for the Huntington Foresters, the home team. They're 16-2, and 6-10 and 10 in the conference, and they're looking to end their season here at home on a positive note. We'll jump right into starting lineups for both sides for the visitors from Mishawaka, Indiana. Bethel sitting at 7-3 in third place. We'll start number one, Paige Franz out of Hamilton, Indiana. She has been stellar in her first year at the collegiate level. She'll be alongside Maddie Payne, a 6'1 senior blocker, wearing number 11 on the year, 312 kills. Michaela Whitaker, another junior outside hitter out of Elkhart, Indiana, 162 kills on the year. Haley Biedenbach out of Fort Wayne Homestead, an absolute stud freshman with already 232 digs and 1,052 assists in her freshman campaign. They'll finish it off with Allison Nibblelink, a grad transfer from SAU, and Sophia Johnston. And for the Foresters, they'll be starting a familiar starting lineup. Courtney Grimm will get the start. Morgan Robrock, Leah Carter out there as well with Olivia Cron, Haley Cruz, and the freshman Trevin Terry. We're going to kick it to a short break as we'll have the national anthem and prayer inside Platt Arena, and we will be back for first serve between the Pilots and the Foresters on FDN Sports. And action. I'm the script supervisor. I'm first AC for camera A. Second AD. Best boy electric. Focus puller. I'm about to run this right here and man the camera. Be speed. Thank you, bye-bye. We've got over 20, 25 students that have worked really hard all semester preparing for this month-long experience. Oh yeah, the standards have definitely been raised. You ready for me or no? Normally we do films in three days. But we do a lot of student films. And this has been like four weeks plus an entire semester of prep. This is just insanely different. The respect that I have for anybody doing group work on a feature film is through the roof. On set this week, we have Stephen Baldwin. Let's leave him to do the miracles and me to handle the business. On the technical side, it was better than anything I've ever experienced before. Kudos to Huntington University. I'm afraid our conversation ends right here. We also have casted Bethany Lind. She's on a Ozarks and a DC series right now. You just left, you didn't call, I thought you were dead. I think this is a, an amazingly immersive experience. I wish I had had something like this. Pros come in and they've come in from all over the country, our department heads. The first two weeks of mentorship, I mean, it's a lot of teaching. Let's see if I can catch any more. It's fun to see where the students are now. We're on week four, day 17, we're getting there now. I think it's good to walk away. I think everybody on this project is in, in a li little bit over our heads. But the prerequisite for being used by God is self-doubt. And we are all being used by God. All of us are here and gifted with different things by God. And all of those pieces are going to fit together and make a really incredible movie. I think that I'm like more, way more capable of, of like hard labor than I thought I was. I think I've definitely become more confident in myself and the process of being able to figure stuff out when there's a problem. Making movies is hard, but it's, it's definitely, it's, it's, it's meaningful because it's bigger than you. 
I definitely think God is teaching me patience. I have learned how to take things with stride. We want the way that we make movies to reflect our Christian faith. That's almost more important to me that our students are seeing that. That's convenient, thank you. I hope that they can take something of what we're doing and live out their faith no matter what movie set they're on. Folks, that is a wrap. We just made our movie. Time for third in the Crossroad League. The Foresters looking to get their seventh conference win of the year, sitting at six and ten right now. The Foresters have coached, of course, coached by Kelsey Herber. She's done a great job with this team this year. And across the gym, Robert Frost will be coaching the Bethel Pilots here tonight, along with Jose Vieira Sierme. A couple of introductions coming ahead here for the Bethel Pilots. Talk more about Coach Frost. He's done a really nice job with this program right now, sitting at 23 and five, obviously still contending in the Crossroads League. He spent a lot of time assisting at various levels, um, and he has experience as well in the Crossroads League, coaching with the Taylor University Trojans as an assistant all the way back in 2002. For the Foresters, they have a little bit of a special night going on tonight, wearing purple for domestic violence awareness. A good cause being put in place here tonight by this Forrester team. And we'll see if they can add to some of that excitement by getting a win against a top 25 team here tonight. Foresters will be in their home blacks. And for the Bethel Pilots, they'll be in their gray and blue jerseys. And we've already gone through the starting lineup, so we will just wait out for this first serve. Do want to remind you, tomorrow, these same volleyball ladies will be back on the court at 3 p.m. Ross Gosnell and I will be bringing you all the action. And then shortly after, we'll have the tip-off of the men's basketball season as they're number 14 in the nation right now, and that will be one that you definitely will want to tune into. And we are set here in Huntington, Indiana for first, ser first serve. As Coach Frost and Coach Herber meet at the center line, and we are ready to roll. Foresters have 
had an up and down type of season. Right now they're trying to find consistency. Tomorrow they will celebrate senior day for their lone senior, Morgan Robrock, and see if they can send her out on a positive note. Two wins in a row against really good competition would feel awfully good for Morgan and the rest of this team. Let's see if the Foresters are up for the battle tonight. Bethel will attack, attack, attack. They've got several players in the 100 kills, two of them over 300 on the year. We've already mentioned number one, Paige Franz, just a freshman out of Angola High School, well on her way to 4,000 assists in her career, not even all the way through her freshman campaign. Great energy last night here in Platte Arena for the women's basketball opening night. Foresters did lose that match, but they were exciting to watch and really showed different levels of athleticism than what we're used to seeing. Lineups being checked by the officials. And once that is set, we'll be ready for first serve. Decent crowd here tonight on a Friday evening between the Bethel Pilots and the Huntington Foresters, always on FDN Sports. Looks like it'll be Haley Biedenbach who starts us off with the first serve. Another freshman out of Fort Wayne, Indiana, Homestead, in high school, right down the road, and we are underway. Haley Cruz tries to get the scoring started, blocked away. Foresters reset, free ball sent over. This is where Bethel can really attack, right in the middle, knocked away by Leah Carter. Another chance, left-handed swing, second straight block. Foresters keeping it alive, they get a free ball. Meyer, Robrock, outside, Grimm. Another save, tapped long, and a good decision there by Cheyenne Seymour. Seymour is steady as they come. 303 kills on the year. She also has 274 digs, so she gets it done on offense and on defense. Robrock is going to try Grimm again. Tapped over. This one finds the floor. So Grimm gets the scoring started for the Foresters. She's been really consistent throughout her time here at HU. And we'll see if she can have a big night to try to push these Foresters towards an upset win. Cruz, big serve, back line, dug out on the back by Franz. Back line swing, tipped off the top. First chance there for Maddie Payne. Back the other way comes Carter, and she puts enough on it to get it down. Early 2-1 advantage for HU. Back-to-back -back. big swings by Grimm and Carter, who are... Impactful pieces for this Forrester side. Cruz with the serve. Gets this one in again. Always good to see that serve working for Cruz. And the soft shot works for Nibblink as the Spring Arbor transfer gets her first kill of the night. Nibblink, a grad transfer. Only 16 sets on the year, so surprising to see her get a start, but off to a hot start as she's had one chance and one kill. Layla Meyer will have a chance to serve here. Good server, the South Paul sends it over, dug off the back line by Vindel. Big swing and not able to handle it was Robrock as it's another good swing by the Pilots. They even it up three to three. That'll allow Vindel to go to the service line. Another graduate student from Valpo, Indiana. Drops one deep. Robrock goes right over to Trevin Terry, and the freshman nearly has a kill. Kept alive by Vindel. Robrock's going to try another forcer. This time Grimm is blocked, and HU down one. Vindel will stay at the service line. 37 aces on the year can be really dangerous as she nearly drops one in there. Mason Robrock goes back line, dug out. Bethel in transition, left-handed swing. That one 
just misses the line from Whitaker. Back and forth. See Saul so far in these first eight points. Saul locked up. H.U. hanging with the number 17 pilots early in this match. Thompson's first time to serve. Goes deep, Vindel plays it up. Left side, Whitaker, that one's into the net and down. And now two straight for H.U. to take the lead. Whitaker's getting a lot of chances here early. 162 kills from that left side. Right now, just struggling a little bit to hit with efficiency. Chance at the net, blocked away by H.U. on the back. Seymour keeps alive, Whitaker blocked again. Free ball at the net, tipped over by Trevin Terry. Back the other way comes Bethel, and it's a mistake. And the Foresters have rattled off, off three straight. Foresters playing with a lot of energy here in this first set. Last two games remaining, both at home here in Platte Arena as Thompson dumps one a little too long out for the first service air of the night. Caroline Mullet steps in out of Napanee, Indiana. Northwood grad gets her first chance. Another lefty for this Bethel side. Drops one deep. Handled by Robrock. Trevin Terry with the swing and just misses the sideline. As now it's two straight back from Bethel. Mullet with her second straight serve. Robrock goes along to her sister Mason. It's blocked away, and this Bethel side does that extremely well as they are one of the top blocking teams in the Crossroads League. 7-6 advantage now for the Pilots. Another good serve tipped over by Morgan, and that left hand has been used all year to collect kills. Robrock uses that as a real weapon. She surpassed 3,000 assists in her career last time out. This time she collects a kill. Gron dumps one short. Vindel keeps it alive. Popped up back line. Meyer pops it straight up in the air. Cruz, back line swing dug out by Seymour. This one's going to be tapped over. A free chance for HU. Robrock, long side. Haley Cruz blocked it in. And that's the second block here early for Bethel. Paige France steps back in. Talk about stellar freshman. Definitely one to watch for freshman of the year in the Crossroads League. A little bit too long of a touch there from Robrock. Cruz couldn't get to it. And it's a 9-7 advantage now for Bethel. Pilots can't win the conference, but they can move up into second or alone in third, and that's big for the postseason play as Terry's trying to bring her team back into it. Terry's been phenomenal this year in her first year with the Foresters out of Stroh, Indiana. The freshman uses that height and power to collect a lot of kills right in front of the net. Seymour does just that as well, and she continues to be efficient, hitting well over 200 on the year. She collects her second kill of the night. Maddie Payne with the serve. Meyer, Robrock, far side, Cruz, tipped back over by the Pilots. Robrock will try Cruz again, blocked away, and that one falls in. And the blocks are starting to pile up right now for Bethel. Maddie Payne still serving. 26 aces on the air, 21 airs as well. Gets this one in. Robrock again tries Cruz. Tipped over, soft shot. Seymour can't dig it out. And Cruz on the third straight attempt gets the third one to go. Grimm back in for HU as Morgan Robrock will get her first chance to toe the line. Robrock, a good server this year, stays on the ground, sends it over. Chance 
far side. Seymour, that one's blocked away, and this time HU blocks a Bethel pilot at the net. Back within one. It's Courtney Grimm who's off to a nice start, blocking one of the best attackers in all the Crossroads League. Robrock dumps one over again. Seymour will try it again. This one's thrown over. Knocked away by Robrock. Meyer goes back line to Cron. She doesn't get many chances, but she makes the most of that one. Cron occasionally gets a back row swing. That time, she knocked it off the blocker and down to tie it up at 11. Robrock still serving. Three straight from her. Good one. Dug out by France. Back line swing from the Pilots, and the power from Payne's enough. Maddie Payne, another 300 plus kills on the year from this Bethel side. They can come at you in waves, and that's why they've been so effective here this year. Cruz tries it again, tips over. Bethel trying to add to their lead. Seymour hits a knuckling shot off the top of the block and in to give the Pilots a two point lead. Biedenbach goes to Grimm. Robrock lifts it up in the net. Carter taps it over. Another chance for Seymour. Off the blocks, kept alive, but it'll give the Pilots a free ball. At the net, Whitaker tips it over. Meyer there. Another chance for Carter, and this time she finds the floor. Nice rotation there on defense by the Foresters to keep that play alive. And Carter is extremely efficient right in the center of the floor when she gets her chances. Cruz, big serve. Just finds the back line for the first Forrester ace. When Haley can dial in that serve, it just adds another aspect to this Forrester side, just puts a ton of pressure on the defense. Second one here. Another one, but this time it heads out of play as that's a service error and it gives Bethel a one point lead. Serves in over from the Pilots right at the net. Robrock goes to Mason, big block, back line dig. Cruz keeping that alive, Courtney Grimm off the top of the blockers. Another chance for Bethel. Cross court shot from Delp, who's just into the game. Another chance for Delp, and she can't get it over the net as she was in a bad spot over there, and the Foresters tie it back up. Terry steps in, Carter walks out, and Layla Meyer will serve for the Foresters. Backline Vindel, she's been busy. Another swing on the left side by Delp. Mason Robrock, cross court, right at Vindel again. Backline swing, Seymour got a lot of it, but a big dig from Morgan. Grimm pushes one over. Nice rally here by both sides, and putting it away is Nibbling. Bethel Pilots only have one speed. They're looking to do damage when they get a chance in front of that. Robrock and Grimm kind of hit a curveball and it works out. Not her best strike, but a kill's a kill. Thompson went on a nice run serving it last time. Kelsey Herber would love to see it again. Seymour, excuse me, Whitaker dug that one out. Back line dig by Cruz. Mason Robrock a chance, blocked away. Cruz at the net. Robrock tips it over and just finds the sideline again. That is the second time over the last five points that HU has just dotted one on the line. Robrock with her second kill. Forrester's back ahead by one. Thompson over top, Whitaker. 
Set up far side. And that one does not find the line as that one wasn't really that close. Tough call against the Foresters. Bethel ties it up, 16-16, tipped over by Robrock, back row swing, and that time it finds the line once again on the back row. So now 17-16 advantage for Bethel, and still serving is Mullet. Back row, Cruz goes to Meyer. Robrock's gonna have to push it over and can't do so, and Coach Herber's gonna have to take a timeout. So the Foresters get maybe a tough call against them, and that kind of shifts the tide towards Bethel. And right now, that call's looming large as it would be tied, but instead, Bethel up two. Take a look at some early stats here. Nine kills for the Foresters, seven for Bethel. Seven assists for Robrock. Six on the other side for the freshman setter uh, Biedenbach, excuse me, for Bethel, and then a couple of digs as well on both sides. So 30 seconds left in this timeout. Coach Herber trying to find that groove that she just saw her team have just a few moments ago, and she's preaching to her team to get back into this first set. Coach Frost doing the same with his team. He's seen his team battle back and forth here in this first set. Ready to roll once again. 18-16 advantage for the Bethel Pilots. It's been a seesaw match back and forth between these two talented sides tonight. Mullet will still be serving. Her team up two. Caroline. Left-handed serve, goes back towards Cruz, right at the net, Robrock, up top, big swing, Mason finds the back left part of the court. Sisters combining for Mason's first kill of the night. Robrock continues to be dynamite at the setting spot. Kron trying to tie this one up, tapped right off the front row, big swing, blocked down, kept alive. Chance at the net, and that one's tapped out of play, and the Foresters have tied it up. 18 to 18. Coach Herber excited that her team has rattled two in a row off to tie this first set up. Long serve, Biedenbach blocked down by HU, and now three straight for the Foresters. And Coach Frost wants a timeout as he's seen his team hand the lead back to HU. Couple of blocks here tonight for the Forcers. Not usually something you see a lot of out of this HU side, but they continue to pile up here tonight. Take a look at this replay here on that last chance as the Foresters just connect right at the net to block that one away. It was. Another chance for Delp, but two Foresters there to combine for another block. And Coach Herber has been opportune with her timeouts this year. She uses another one, and it works out perfectly as she sees her team go on a 3-0 run. This first half, her first set, I should say, winding down. Kron will still be serving for HU once Bethel is ready to roll. Kron sends it over. Back line, Vindel, another swing and blocked down by HU. Robrock takes the free chance, can't get it down. Vindel setting up Delp. HU back the other way. Cruz with the swing, it's blocked away by Bethel and it's tied up once again. allow the freshman France to come back in and serve. Page sends it over. 
Back, low, back row dig. Cruz pops one up. Good chance for Bethel to answer, and they do just that at the net. Big time swing in the middle by Matty Payne. 20 to 19 for the visitors in the first set. Thompson, Robrock, Trevin Terry has it blocked away and it's touched maybe one too many times there by Robrock and now it's a two point advantage in the first set. Franz will still serve. Right, righty goes cross court. Meyer keeps it alive. Cruz has to force it over. Another big chance. Biedenbach over the head. Kept alive, and HU blocks it down for another point. Trevin Terry and Haley Cruz combining for that one to pull HU back within one. Now Trevin, after the block, will have a chance to serve. Trying to get Foresters back into this first set. Mullet. And now Seymour cross court, kept alive by Trevin. Robrock right at the net for Carter, and it's hit a little too hard and out of play. Good chance there for Carter to knot it up. Matty Payne sends it over. Good serve on the back line. Cron keeps it alive. Cruz is going to have to hit a deep one. Another chance for the Pilots to add on, blocked again by HU. Backline swing from Payne, tipped over, HU taps it back. Seymour's chance, big swing and out of play as Thompson just couldn't keep that one alive. That's exactly what Seymour does, just continues to add to her impressive tally. That one a little too hot for Michaela Thompson to handle. So all of a sudden, it's a three-point advantage in this first set for Bethel. They did lose their last match. And for HU, they went to Mount Vernon and also got beat by a tough Cougars team. But the Pilots have just been steady all year long. They've found ways to beat top teams. But also, keep in mind, their only five losses have come within the conference. They're 12-0 outside of conference play and that really is just a testament to how stinking tough this league is in every single sport. Their losses within conference have been Marion who's receiving votes number two Indiana Wesleyan who hasn't lost this year. Also Marion again, Iwu again, Grace College who, who will be in town tomorrow night and that is it. So three top teams in this crossroads league right up there with Bethel and once again, just shows you how tough it is each night out here for these athletes in one of the best conferences in America. HU will come out of the timeout and hope they can respond with a 3-0 run again out of a timeout like they did their last time. Coach Herber had a chat. Matty Payne still serving. Robrock, far side for Cruz. Front spinning shot tapped over. At the net goes Bethel and able to get enough of it was Nibble Link to knock it in. Set point here for the Pilots. Matty Payne trying to put it away. Cron, Robrock, Carter. Big swing, still kept alive. Awesome effort there on the back line for the Pilots. Robrock tips it over with the left hand and she's got that working tonight. Thompson out, Grimm in. HU's gonna have to at least get three straight here to keep this first set alive. It'll be Morgan Robrock. Coming off the kill with the left hand, now we'll serve with the right. Over the top, France. Seymour off the top of the block. HU keeps it alive. Cruz now off the top of the pilot's block. Another chance for Seymour, and she wasn't committed to that. HU's got two in a row, and now just down two in the set. Just see Seymour not really committed to the shot she wanted to hit, and for now, HU stays alive. 
24-22 and kept alive again by the Foresters. Another amazing dig by this defense and they've cut it to one here in the first set now. Coach Frost takes a timeout, not happy with what he's seeing. And the Foresters playing some inspired volleyball here down the stretch. They're not gonna go quietly here in the first. I'm telling you there's something about those timeouts with Coach Herber. Seems to always have the right message for her team as they've responded well during the first two timeouts that she's called tonight. And we'll see if they've got one more left. Coach Frost, of course, just needs his team to score one more point here before the Foresters score a couple. And they'll be up one to zero, but you can't fault the Foresters' effort here tonight. Foresters still in the huddle as Coach Herber has a few last words with her team. They've battled back here all night. We've seen Bethel take a couple of three-point leads, four-point leads but still hanging in there at the moment. <laughs> HU will still be serving. Morgan Robrox got two in a row for her side on the service line. The senior serves it over again. See if HU can tie it up. Seymour trying to put it away and she does just that. Off the top of the blocks, it's Bethel 1-0 as we head to the second set. We'll take it to a short break. Be right back for set number two on FDN Sports. I'm Megan Hosteller. I'm the producer of the In the Beginning, Our Purpose event. And currently we are getting ready for Britt Nicole to come in and just have an intimate worship night with here at HU with all of our students. Um, we're currently getting ready for the camera team to come in um, as well as the lighting and everything like that. Our whole team has just put in a lot of effort and time into this event and we're just really excited to see how it pays off. One of the big goals for this project is from our community, we want to bring people into this worship night to come in and have a really great experience to be impacted. We want people to come in and worship God and ultimately the goal is about finding our purpose. A lot of people are trying to figure out, hey, what's my purpose? Where am I supposed to be going? What am I supposed to be doing? The next five, 10 years, there's gonna be a lot of change happening. So what am I supposed to be doing? So the goal of the event is to help people find that purpose uh, through worshiping God, through asking the Holy Spirit to grant us wisdom in these moments, grant us wisdom this night as we sing praises to you, as we receive um, wisdom from you, as we receive your truth tonight, and ultimately come together in a corporate community to praise you together. I, when I saw the name of this, actually the first time I saw it, I think was like on Instagram, and I was like, wow, this is so cool. In the beginning, our purpose, like this is truly why we were designed and created was to worship God, you know? And so um, I love the name of it. I love that, you know, they had a, a heart and a vision to bring this to their school. And honestly, I've just been so excited, like leading up this whole month, just my spirit has felt really excited and stirred for what God is going to do tonight. What's cool about it is it doesn't feel like it's about like one particular person. It just feels like, even the way it's set up, it, it just feels like this is about everyone and just coming together to, for one purpose. It's a 1-0 advantage here for the Bethel Pilots in front of this Huntington crowd here tonight. Of course, some purple sprinkled in for Domestic Abuse Awareness Month here and Hello everyone, Preston Husband on FDN Sports. It's been a busy, busy week for us here 
on the Forrester Digital Network. Five broadcasts in four days, and we're so glad you're tuning in from wherever you may be watching tonight. And if you're a Pilots fan, you're happy after set number one. They were pretty efficient in that first set. Matty Payne and Nibble Link had three kills each. It's Cheyenne Seymour who's been the leader all year long with four for the Foresters, a balanced attack. Leah Carter with three, Robrock with two kills, Courtney Grimm with two kills, and then Mason Robrock, Trevin Terry, Haley Cruz, and Olivia Cron all had one as well. HU actually hit a higher percentage in that first set, but at the end of the day, the Pilots win on the scoreboard. We'll start set number two. HU will have to dig themselves out of a 1-0 hole. We'll see if they can do just that. Coach Frost trying to keep his team locked in. Morgan Robrock just got done serving, and this time she sends it into the net for the first service air from her tonight. Taylor Delp back in for Bethel. Good serve by the Pilots on the back row. Cruz comes out of nowhere and finds the floor. Haley Cruz finally getting something going there. And she rows up. That is not someone you expect to see maybe collect a lot of kills at her height, but man, she's proven to do it extremely well as she continues to get it done. Chance for Whitaker, lefty tips it over and HU just a little out of position and it drops in. Whitaker in that first set was quiet with no kills but she starts off this second set on the right foot. Meyer and Robrock working in the middle with Carter. It was a big swing, but dug out. Whitaker's got her second straight chance. Tried that soft shot again. Kept alive by HU and tipped back over from the Bethel defense. It's a 3-1 advantage for the Pilots. Another serve here from Vindel. Long serve, Cruz keeps it in. Courtney Grimm with a swing on the right side, tips it over on the second try. Left side swing from the Pilots, big dig there by Grimm. Another chance, long shot by Cruz, and this one goes out of play. It's a 3-0 run right now by the Pilots. Bindle getting comfy on the service line right now. Cruz. Robrock goes far side to her sister Mason and she can't get that one over the net and right away Coach Herber needs a timeout to talk it over with her team. Bethel happy to see Coach Herber call a timeout. Kelsey trying to see what her team needs to get back to to fight back from this four point deficit. Of course they would love to tie it up here but We'll play five if needed tonight. And it's not shameful how the Foresters are playing right now because the Bethel Pilots have done this to a lot of teams this year. As mentioned, they got off to that 12-0 start. Since then, stumbled a little bit, but still third place in a tough crossroads league. So they've been excellent all year long, and this is just kind of what their DNA is. Coach Herber still has a really young team. I mean, you look at the comparison between these two rosters, a couple of grad students and seniors on the pilots, and for Huntington, just one senior who will be represented tomorrow, Morgan Robrock. So it's just something to keep an eye on throughout the future here at Huntington University. This team will get a lot better with more time on the court. Vindel continues to serve. Out of Valparaiso, Indiana, 37 aces on the year. She keeps putting that pressure on Layla Meyer on the back row. Right in the middle, the Foresters blocked away again, that time Maddie Payne. Yeah. 
Vindal again. Serve this time is out of play as Rachel couldn't keep that one in. It's her 13th service air of the year, but just went on a huge run for the Pilots. Layla Meyer will serve it. HU down 6-2 to two in the second set, already down 1-0 in the match. Tipped over, kept alive by Robrock. Into the net go the Pilots. Mason now tries back row. Vindel keeps alive, beat him back, goes right up top, and Payne finishes it off. Caroline Mullet back in, 18 matches, 53 sets. She comes in to serve quite a bit. She also had a nice run at it in that first set. Another chance in the middle. This one just misses the back line for Grimm. And now it's a six-point advantage here in the second set for Bethel. Mullet again. Right at Haley Cruz, she sends it over the net. It was a free ball, but not taken there well as Robrock gets another chance. Tipped over top, and it drops in as Delp is now getting in on the action as well. Foresters may have got away with a double touch anyways, and at the end of the day, Bethel pays it off with a point. Mullet, back line just missed. Having an ace, it's out for a service error. He two cuts it back to six. Nine to three here. Bethel Pilots having another really solid night as they've had a lot of them throughout this season. Thompson serving. Goes back to Vindel, beat him back. Goes once again right on the right side to Maddie Payne and she's on a good run here in this second set. Maddie Payne starting to pile up some stats here. She's up to five kills leading the Pilots. Serve from the freshman, France. Mason Robrock rises up, and that's the best swing we've seen her have tonight. Olivia Cron back in to serve. See if she can get something going for the Foresters here. Down six in the second set. Good serve over, a little bit of a collision by the Pilots. Seymour hits it anyways, and it's gonna be another kill for the Pilots as they continue to get it done. And I've got the ball and I don't know where to go with it. There we go. Never know what you're gonna see when you're calling a game over here on the sidelines. Gotta always be ready. Payne drops in a good serve. Chance for Trevin Terry. Dug off the back row by France. Another chance, free ball sent over by Nibbling. HU can attack, Robrock tried the left hand again. Seymour goes over the top, it's tipped over by Mullet right at the net. Another chance, Terry rises up on the second jump, almost gets it. Seymour now blocked. Robrock and Terry blocked away and into the net, four touches by the Foresters. Talk about how good Biedenbach has been to start her career. Already tonight, up to 15 assists. Terry continues to try it, and the Pilots shut it down once again as that's Nibblink with another block. And Coach Herber wants to use her second time out here in the second set. This is one that's starting to get away from the Foresters just a little bit as Bethel has used that defense to really build this lead here in the second set. You can see the Bethel Pilots huddle in high spirits at the moment as for good reason, they've been really playing rock solid in this second set. For HU, not as many smiling faces as they're trying to find an answer against a top 20 team right now on their home court. Coach Herber, always a positive mentor. And she always seems to find positives, even when things aren't going as well as they could be. 
And she's always locked in, and she knows that you got to play at least three, so the Foresters have to stay focused and find a way to get back into this match. Pilots ready to roll. Now the Foresters join them on the court. Be Maddie Payne, who's leading the Pilots right now in kills, serving. Payne sends it over. It's a good serve again. Cron, Robrock at the net. Terry taps it long, kept alive by Payne. Chance at the net, tipped over by the Pilots. Robrock's going to try Cruz this time, and she tips one in on the floor. Nearly a pancake save there by Mullet. Just got to it a little late. Trevin Terry serving now. HU down 13 to five. Long serve. And not a great defensive play there by the Pilots. It'll give HU a chance for a free ball at the net. Tipped over right back to the Foresters. Now the Pilots in transition and Biedenbach puts it away. Her 33rd kill of the year. She might be chasing down a school record if she continues to set at the pace that she's on right now. Robrock trying to go right back at the Pilots. This time it's set up for Whitaker. Fran set that one up, tipped over top, and just finding the line was Leah Carter. So used to seeing Carter take big swings in the middle of the court. That time she used the placement and dropped it in. Morgan Robrock serving again for HU. On the back line, France keeps it alive. Beat him back, sets up Payne, long shot. Digging it out was Robrock. Swing from Grimm, back line, Payne digs it out again. Another chance, Whitaker goes cross court. Grimm, Robrock, Carter nearly knocks it in and it will fall as Bethel runs out of room on the sideline. H.U. cuts into the lead a little bit. At least cuts the lead in half as it's 14 to seven. Bethel pilots up. Robrock still serving. Can't get that one over the net. It's her second service error of the set, and it's back to an eight-point lead for the Pilots. Taylor Delp back in. That sends Cheyenne Seymour to the service line. Long serve, and it's an ace for the Pilots. Haven't seen an ace tonight until Seymour decided to Take matters into her own hands. She's got 38 on the night, or 38 on the season, excuse me. 38 on the night would be a record. Leah Carter trying to bring the Foresters back. Cuts the lead back to eight. Mason Robrock back in. Haley Cruz ready to serve. Cruz, big serve, nearly has an ace, kept alive. Beat him back, goes right to the right side, and Nibblelink sneaks it in. Her teammates call her Lil Beady, is what I was told before the match. I told him if she did something well, I'd give her the nickname. And right now, she's doing just that. Meyer, Robrock, out wide Carter, tipped back over. Leah keeps it alive. Mason Robrock now blocked. Meyer and Robrock working together, and Morgan just misses the back line. It's now the largest lead of the set for the Pilots. Serve over the top, Cruz. Robrock goes far side for his sister Mason. Good swing, but kept alive by Seymour. Second chance put away by Grimm. Courtney Grimm has had some bright spots here tonight. She continues to add to her kill total. Now up to three on the night. Leah Carter leading the way with six for HU. 
Bad touch on the defensive side of the net. And Robrock responds with an easy swing. Two straight for HU to cut the lead to eight. Meyer goes right at Whitaker. Whitaker gets it back from Biedenbach, and she's able to put enough steam on it to sneak it past the back, back line of the Foresters. Vester for the first time comes into the match here. Freshman out of Yorktown, Indiana. A usually prolific volleyball program down by a Muncie, Indiana. As that one's tipped over the top by Trevin Terry. You look at some of the players that have come out of Yorktown. Bella Rosenthal, who played at Auburn. Ryan Neal as well, who played at Toledo. I believe Kendall Murr at Nebraska, which is, of course, one of the top teams in all of the country. Thompson goes right at the Yorktown native Vester, and it's a big response by the attack of the Pilots as they continue to push this lead back to nine. Number one. That kill was from Maddie Payne once again. She's approaching double digits now as she's up to six on the night. France over top. Robrock's got a run after it. Now Mason's going to have to send a free ball over, and it's not going to stay in play as it's a mistake by HU, and that's once again a double-digit lead here in this second set for the Pilots. France, second straight serve. This time sends it a little too long. HU back down nine. Crom back into serve for HU. Olivia has had a nice year here for the Foresters. See if she can go on a little bit of a run. Dug out on the back line, Vester. Chance at the net, Seymour puts it away. Nice reaction on the back line there by the line judge. He stuck up the left hand and kept that one from knocking off the glasses. Matty Payne. Having a big night for the Pilots will now serve up 10 in the second set. Cron, Robrock, Trevin Terry with the power. Terry, just a freshman, going to be a big part of the next three years for this Forrester volleyball program. She'll now serve. Terry goes long, bad touch on the back line, and it's an ace for Trevin Terry. She's got the last two points for HU. Twenty-one thirteen, Bethel Pilots. Terry goes right back to France, kept live by Beatenbeck, and knocked in once again by Nibblelink. It's been that combo a lot tonight. Vester will head out, Whitaker back in. And serving is potential freshman of the year, Biedenbach, Biedenbach, excuse me. Bailey Cruz hits one over, Seymour keeps it alive. Right over to Whitaker and she knocks it in once again. Coach Herber may be thinking about one more timeout, but I don't think she has one remaining and it is now set point for the Pilots. Biedenbach again, goes right at Thompson. Grimm sets up Carter, it's tipped over by Cruz. Payne off the back line, goes to Haley, or excuse me, Olivia Cron. Carter taps it over, so Seymour keeps it alive. Whitaker left-handed swing, and she's got the last two, and that puts the Pilots up two. We head to the third set, number 17, Bethel, in charge right now over the Foresters when we come back on FDN Sports.
We're back at Platt Arena. It is a 2-0 advantage right now for the Bethel Pilots. And these Foresters will have to dig themselves out of a 2-0 hole now to get back into this match. Second to last regular season game for HU as they will be taking on the Grace Lancers tomorrow. Tonight it's number 17 Bethel. And that's just kind of the story of the Crossroads League. This young Forester team has hung in there, but Right now, they're in a brutal stretch down the final two games. They'll have to find a way to fight back and see if they can do just that in this third. is going to go with Carter, Haley Cruz, Morgan Robrock, Layla Meyer, Olivia Cron, and Courtney Grimm. Beat and Beck will still be serving as She's been a great setter all year, and she continues that trend tonight, up to 20 assists. She had as many as 56 assists earlier in the year in one of Bethel's matches. Seymour, big swing, kept alive there by France. Now Whitaker had two straight to end the second set. Starts the third with the kill. Whitaker up to four kills now on the night. Beatenbeck still serving. I keep saying Beatenbeck, I mean Beatenbach. As we know that name to be Courtney Grimm with a big swing in the middle. Excuse me for mispronouncing that a few times. Beatenbach, she deserves to have her name right after the freshman year that she's putting together right now. Haley Cruz, big swing off the top of the tape. Whitaker keeps it alive. They go to Seymour, and she buries one in front of the back row of the Foresters. So Seymour gets the kill. Now she heads to serve. And Seymour having a monster senior season. Again, Carter, and she puts one down. Leah is so efficient right now with her chances at the net. Leading the Foresters in kills. She just continues to take advantage anytime she gets a swing. That's now seven kills for Leah Carter. Back the other way comes Bethel. A little off balance on that attack. Robrock double touches and it's a 3-2 advantage for Bethel. That'll allow Rachel Vindel to go back and serve the libero tonight. Rachel sends it over the top. Long serve and a little too long, and it ties it up at three. Kayla Thompson now will have a chance to serve for HU. Trying to keep this match alive are the Foresters. Down 2-0 at the moment. Michaela sends one over the back row. Vindel, four to four there. Chance for Bethel, and once again, they put it away right at the net. Just don't miss many of those opportunities. This attack for Bethel is so efficient. 
They block it well on defense, and then they swing it efficiently on offense, and Maddie Payne, with another kill, continues to lead the Pilots. Vester back in to serve. Layla Meyer pops it up to Robrock, goes cross court to Mason Robrock. Dug out by Seymour, chance of the net, tipped over by Payne. That time she couldn't get it to go. Meyer and Robrock combined to keep it together off the top of the tape by the Forester. Seymour back row swing, and that one's too long. Four, four now, HU. has kind of done this in those first two sets as well, bouncing back after getting into a little bit of a hole and they're fighting hard to stay in this match. Kron serving. Olivia, top spinning ball over the top. Vester picked it out. Swing and a big dig on the back line by Kron. Olivia Cruz, excuse me, Haley Cruz. Olivia Kron was the one earlier blocked in by the Foresters as Delp tried to attack. Morgan Robrock with the block, the assist to Trevin Terry. They've combined for a few tonight. Now Olivia Cron again, good serve. Backline Vindal, chance for the same player for Bethel, Delp, can't find it again. She'll get a third try over the top and just sneaks it in play. Third time's the charm for Delp there as she finally got one to go and now France serving for the Pilots. Thompson, Robrock, out wide, Haley Cruz, big swing, kept alive by France on the first touch, but then it falls in for a Haley Cruz kill. Trevin Terry serving with the lead here for the Foresters, up six to five in the third, down two in the match. Vindel. And now Payne blocked away, and another block for A2 to give him a two-point lead here in the third. Leah Carter there. She's having a huge night right now for A2, just trying to keep her side alive. Terry drops one over. Vindel at the net. Biedenbach. And now Robrock tries. Kept alive. And HU cannot get that one over the net. It's another point for the Pilots. Maddie Payne now to serve. Payne has an ace. She's caused the Foresters a lot of pain tonight. She just has dialed it up in a lot of different aspects of the game. 6-1 senior serves it again. Right to Kron. Robrock at the net. Carter tapped over top. Dug out by Vindel. Blocked by the Foresters. Free ball over. A2 sends it right back. Vindel beat him. Bach. Blocked down by A2. It's Carter and Robrock again. A2's kind of blocked more than what we're accustomed to seeing. And if they can continue to just fight in this third set, you never know what can happen. Robrock sends one a little too long. It's her third service error. That one's costly here as it ties it up at eight. Biedenbach, Kron for HU, big swing, Grimm. Just missed the back line. Bailey Biedenbach once again. Back line, Robrock lifts it up for Cruz. She goes cross court, Payne keeps it alive. This time Seymour is blocked away, Vindel there. Seymour again blocked down and HU is having a block party here in the third. Leah Carter just tough to get through right now at the net for the Foresters. Haley Cruz, big serve, and it's once again a service error for the Foresters. 
Starting to pile up a little bit here in this third set. Cheyenne Seymour will get another chance. Layla Meyer out wide for Courtney Grimm. A little bit of a curve ball. Vindle keeps it alive. Whitaker with the left hand. Now Morgan Robrock goes to Mason Robrock off the blockers and in. Sisters combined for another kill. Mason kind of a slow night, but able to connect with her sister setter there. Layla Meyer goes right into the top. And as mentioned, those service errors starting to hurt HU here in the third. It's kind of been a theme in some tight matches here at home this year. See if they can fight out of that and get back to getting those serves in play. Bindle goes to Layla Meyer. Robrock lifts it up. Mason Robrock again. Now back-to-back -back kills for her. Sisters starting to find a little bit of a groove here in this third. 11 to 11. Bethel is up 2-0 in the match. Thompson goes back row, Vindel. Now a chance at the net, and Payne just continues to swing it well. Payne up to now eight kills on the night, leading the Pilots. Lily Vester, freshman back in to serve. Over the top, right at the back line. Robrock goes to Mason again, this time kept alive by Vester. Chan Seymour will have to force it over from the back row. Chance from Robrock to Robrock, blocked down and out of play as Mason Robrock's got her third kill in the third set. Twelve to twelve in the third. Olivia Cron serving. Cron goes right at Vester. Biedenbach sets up Delp, and she able is able to tip it off the blockers and down. Brands back in. Rear high eleven digs against Taylor earlier in the year. Twenty one service aces as well. Go to along with an impressive freshman campaign. Terry's blocked away by the Pilots. And now a two-point advantage again for Bethel. Two fans trying to will their team back into this match. Brands goes way long, and that one is out of play for a service there. Carter back in, out there with Morgan Robrock, Haley Cruz, Michaela Thompson, Olivia Cron, and the server for the Foresters, Trevin Terry, long ball sent off of the back row again and out of play, and it's 14 to 14. Trevin Terry. Back row to Vester, chance for Payne, dug out by Thompson. HU trying to get the lead back, kept alive by Vindel. Back row, rare swing by France. Tipped over by Robrock, Vindel there again. Seymour off the top of the net. Robrock, Carter, tip shot, down. HU back ahead here in this third set. They've got a tall hill to climb, but they will have to win this third set to at least attempt it. Terry. Bad ball by Vester, tipped over, kept alive by Thompson. Robrock goes to Cruz, off the blockers. Terry sets up Cruz again off the top of the block. Franz does a great job to keep it alive. Vester sends it over. Robrock, middle, Cruz, tip shot, and once again, Vindel there to keep it alive. Long rally, Cruz a third chance, finally gets it to fall. Third time's a charm for Haley Cruz and HU up two and Coach Frost wants a timeout. 
He's seen his team mostly in control tonight, but right now the Foresters fighting all the way back. Coach Frost talking to his leader, Payne, right now, who's had the best night. Let's take a look at the stats. 12 kills in the second set for the Pilots, 11 in the first. Right now in the third, they have six. A2 had 11 in the first, nine in the second, eight here already in the third. And on the night, take a look at the efficiency. Bethel is just swinging. Barely a better percentage than HU, but once again, at the end of the day, the scoreboard is all that matters. And of course, leading the way was Payne with eight, Cheyenne Seymour with seven. Nibblelink has five, Whitaker four, Delp four. And the setter, Biedenbach has, Biedenbach has one. She has 26 assists on the night as well. Morgan Robrock with 21 assists and leading the way on offense for the Foresters, Leah Carter, Haley Cruz, Mason Robrock, Grimm, Trevin Terry. Morgan Robrock has two and Crom with one. So we're back and ready to play. Eight you up two in the third set. They'll have to win it to keep the match alive. Terry, long serve, just picked up by France on the back line. Another chance for Seymour. Tapped away, kept alive by HU. Right at the net, Carter goes. Seymour keeps it alive. Beat and Bach to Payne, blocked down, and HU's up three. Morgan Robrock there to keep that one out of the backcourt for the Foresters. Trevin Terry still serving. Goes right to Vester, big touch. Beat and Bach goes to Payne, and she Hits that one right at Terry, who has no chance. Carter tries to block that one over, and it's a mistake made by Biedenbach as HU stays ahead by three. Grimm comes in for Thompson. Back to serve is Morgan Robrock. HU up three, seven points away from extending this match. Morgan sends one over, it's a good serve. Right to the freshman France, back the other way. Seymour just misses the line. And now HU with the largest lead they've had on the night here in the third set. Robrock still serving. Second one in a row. Long serve, Payne picks it out. Biedenbach goes to Seymour and she's able to get it to fall off the blockers of the Foresters. Biedenbach will now get to serve after picking up her 21st assist. Grimm handles. Robrock goes back row, Croner second try. Kept alive by Whitaker. Biedenbach goes back row, Payne who just can't get enough on it. And now it's a 20 to 16 lead in the third for HU. Mason Robrock checks in, Cron out. Cron getting a little action on the attack tonight. Haley Cruz serving. Another big swing, Payne keeps it alive. Biedenbach goes to the right side, Seymour, and it's bucked out of play by HU. Lead cut to three. Taylor Delp, freshman from Plymouth, back in. Played in all 28 matches this year. Career high 12 kills against IU South Bend earlier this year. They just have a lot of solid freshmen and a service air here from their senior, Cheyenne Seymour has the lead up to four again for HU. Layla Meyer, South Paul, puts one over the top. Biedenbach goes behind her back to Whitaker and she's able to sneak one in. It was a good attempt there by Morgan Robrock, just couldn't quite keep it alive. Vindel's gonna serve it. 
Bethel trying to dig back now. HU trying to keep it alive. Bindle goes to Grimm. Grillbrock. Back row, Haley Cruz, top spinning ball, finds its way to the floor as Cheyenne Seymour just couldn't get to it in time. Good response here by the Foresters as they're just three points away from keeping their night alive. Thompson serves. Long serve goes to Vindel. Biedenbach at the net, Payne tips it over, and she's able to find the soft spot of the defense as it's deflected out of play and down. And then for the Pilots, number six, Vester. Vester comes back in. She's only played 18 sets before tonight. Right now, she's playing a big part in this third set. Vester sends it over. It's another service error, and HU within two points from extending the match. Olivia Cron serving for HU. Right-handed serves in over the top. Vindel keeps it alive, tipped over the top by Badenbach. Cruz, big swing, just misses the back line. Forrester's asking for a tip, but nothing there. So the Pilots stay within three, and the freshman Paige France gets a chance to serve again. France. Back row, cap alive by Kron, left side, Cruz. Franz keeps it alive. Seymour now tips it over and just gets it in front of Haley Cruz. And that one was close, and Coach Kelsey Herber wants a timeout. Haley Cruz maybe thought she kept that one alive, but just didn't get to it in time. So the third set's gonna come down to these final few points as Coach Frost is gonna talk to his team. Coach Herber doing the same. Cannot fault the effort of the Foresters tonight. They have been really solid this evening against one of the top teams in all of the country. And if they can find a way to win this third set, you just never know what can happen throughout the remainder of this match. Some of that positivity being shown by Coach Herber as her team has given her a good reason to be positive tonight. They've not given up and they're sticking right with a team that can make a really long run later this year. So we wait for Foresters to come out of timeout. Pilots ready once again. Looks like we are just about ready for Serve coming from the Pilots. Franz will still have it. Freshman from Hamilton, Indiana, sends it over with the right hand. Thompson, Robrock at the net for Terry. She tips it over, it's dug out by Vindel. Seymour swing, and she gets enough on it to sneak it down. 23-22 now, the Pilots have climbed almost all the way back. Franz again into the net, and now it's set point for the Foresters. What a response this would be by HU if they can get the next point here in this third set. Freshman Trevin Terry will have the serve. Trevin sends it over, Payne. Beat him back, and Seymour can't sneak it in. Touched twice on the back line by the Foresters. And now it's just a one point set here in the third. And Coach Herber wants to call a timeout as the Foresters surprised by that call. So the Pilots still alive here in the third. Coach Frost team also really resilient as they have fought hard to really keep this third set close. HU had a chance to run away with it up four in this third set earlier. Now the lead cut to one. Just another reminder tomorrow, back here in Platt Arena for Forrester Volleyball against the Grace Lancers. Another 
really solid team in the Crossroads League. At 3 p.m. will be the first serve. We'll be on probably around 2.50. And then we'll take a little break after that and we'll get the Huntington men's team, basketball team, tipped off here inside Platte Arena. Coach Frost, the Bethel Pilots, still staying locked in. Intense look from Frost as wants his team to close it out here. They have a little bit of a drive home. The Foresters continue to use every single second of their timeouts. Coach Herber gets her message across. Payne will be serving for Bethel. Payne. Almost dumps it in. Cron keeps it alive. Cruz to put it away, and it's still kept up by Bethel. Carter blocked away. Cruz again. Back row just finds the back line, and we're headed to a fourth set. Foresters staying alive. On to the fourth on FDN Sports when we come back. What we do in television production isn't just traditional over-the-air broadcasting anymore. It is so much more than that. We do multi-camera streaming of sports events uh, with instant replay and graphics and playback videos. We are doing interview shows that are fun shows like The Treehouse, where students bring in guests, they interview them, and they do an activity while they're interviewing, and we work together as a team in this studio production class. During your time in the television production program here at Huntington, there are so many opportunities that um, you probably have to say no to some. I think anyone can be built for broadcasting because it's such a wide variety of a topic. You have like radio opportunities, you have news opportunities, you can do editing, you can do sound, you can do freelance events, or you can go work a full-time position like I'm going to be doing. It's There's so many different areas that you can go into, you can probably find something that you enjoy. But at Huntington, there are so many opportunities to jump in to crews that are fun, that are loving what they're doing, and actually creating a product, creating a story that people are watching. Having all the different broadcasting career paths at Huntington really helped me single in on what I wanted to do with my life. We're back at Platt Arena for set number four. HU finds a way to dig themselves halfway out of the hole as they win the third set. Final score in that one, 25 to 23. It took every ounce of effort they had to win that third. Right now, they're just one set away from tying it up. Might just pitch a tent here at HU with all the athletes going on here, especially if this one goes five, just stick around. Platt Arena for tomorrow as we've got more action-packed 
Huntington University Athletics on the Forrester Digital Network. Bethel Pilots, number 17 on the year in the NAIA rankings. And right now, Foresters, if they can win this next set, might have the Pilots on the ropes. France, Biedenbach, Payne, dug out, but didn't stay in for HU as Payne has her 11th kill of the night. Taylor Delp in. Page France out. Nibble link in as well. Seymour serving. Cron. Robrock goes backwards to Haley Cruz. Cross court. Cheyenne Seymour digs it out. Whitaker left hand powers it through. Two O advantage here to start the fourth for the pilots. Similar to the third as well. Seymour, and the Foresters respond with a Leah Carter kill set up by Morgan Robrock. A two shot, not shot, talk about that tomorrow. Hit 25% in that third set, so rather efficient from the Forester attack as Cruz has been much better at the service line and Leah Carter puts a free one away. She's got the first two for HU in the fourth. <laughs> Haley Cruz continues to serve well for HU tonight. That time, a service error. Three two advantage for the pilots. Bindle over top. Meyer, Robrock, Grimm tapped over. Bindle there. Beaten box sets up Seymour and somehow sneaks it over. Didn't even get off the ground for that kill. Right into the blockers of HU. Couldn't direct it back towards the pilots. Robrock sets up Carter, looking for a third kill of the fourth. Couldn't get it. Biedenbach goes out wide. That's Delp who sends it over. Robrock again, and this time her sister Mason puts it down. Sister combination has come on over the last two sets here for HU. Layla Meyer, Seymour, beat him back, and once again, Payne with the answer. Whitaker comes out, Vester steps in, and she'll go straight to the service line. Vester goes long, Layla Meyer, Robrock behind her back to Grimm. Forrester's asking for a touch, and they'll be rewarded with one. Coach Frost taking a little rest on his bench right now as Coach Herber still stands and tries to push her team, hopefully do a fifth set. Thompson cross court, Vester can't handle, and it's gonna be another ace for HU, and they've tied it up here in the fourth. Foresters have been challenging Vester a lot with the serve, and it's been rather successful here over these last two sets. This time they try Vindel. Biedenbach sets up Seymour. It's touched twice, and HU up one now in the fourth set. We've only had one five-setter here on FD in sports this year. Coach Herber would love to force it to another one. Thompson goes right at Vindel, kept alive. Sent over the top, dropped in between the defense. HU somehow keeps it alive but then Robrock couldn't push it over. It was Delp who knocked that one towards the Forrester defense. Franz back in to serve. Delp back out, freshman for freshman. Franz 
Right in the middle to Meyer. Goes to Robrock, out wide to Mason. Cross court, tipped down and in. And you'll never guess who. It was Matty Payne there to knock it back. Brand still serving. This time, she tries Haley Cruz, who gets a swing on the back line. Not sure that one ever got over the net, but they'll say so. This time it doesn't, as Robrock couldn't get it over for the second time this set, and now it's an eight to six advantage for Bethel. Brands. Thompson, Robrock. Goes far side for Mason off the top of the block. Vindel there. Biedenbach. Seymour, and she's got another kill for the Pilots. Seymour and Payne on opposite sides just coming at you all night long. Tough to defend. Both of them have 12 kills. Franz Meyer loses it too close to the net. And Coach Herber is going to be forced to call another timeout. So another four-point advantage here for the Pilots as they have battled all night to try to put this Forrester team away, but HU just continues to hold on. Then another awesome production by the students here at Huntington University. Other than myself, I believe everyone on the broadcast tonight is a student at Huntington University and no better place to come and do it if you're looking to come in sports broadcast or run a camera or learn how to produce, direct, run a replay. Good place to come and for years to come will be really exciting, especially with some of the renovations being done in this athletic program this past season. Timeout over. HU will have to battle back again here in the fourth. They've been playing from behind a lot tonight. Serve over the top, long one. Looked like it would have been out. Instead, Meyer gets her hands on it, and it's an ace for the Pilots. Communication from the bench was there just a little too late for Meyer to keep that one away. Another long serve, this time easily recognized that it's long from France. Cron back in to serve for HU. Olivia's had a good night defensively tonight. Cron sends it over, finds Vester in the middle. Seymour kept alive on the back row right there for Cron. Cruz goes cross court. Seymour there to pick it up. Biedenbach sets up Payne and once again there to hit it cross court, finds the spot. Payne having a monster night right now. It's, she just always seemed to have the answer when HU starts to battle back. She now serves. Thompson, Robrock, Trevin Terry finds the floor. Trevin Terry with the kill. Now she gets to serve. HU back within four. Trying to keep their hopes alive. Serve over the top, free ball for HU off the top of the block. Carter couldn't get that one to go. Chance for Nibbling, kept alive by Terry. And now Cruz goes long, Payne there. Seymour taps it over, Thompson keeps it alive. Robrock finds the middle of the floor. Morgan Robrock with that left hand uses it so efficiently and picks out the right time to drop it in. Terry still serves, HU down three. They've battled back, cut this deficit in half. Another chance for the Pilots, back row save, nicely done by Cron. Carter swings, Payne keeps it alive. Free ball sent over by Seymour. Thompson, Robrock, Carter drops it in, and now just a two point lead for the Bethel Pilots. HU just continues to stay resilient in this match. Another Treventary serve right to France. 
Biedenbach goes to Seymour. Back row saved by Terry. Across the court, Cruz close to the net. Pilots keep it alive. Biedenbach in the middle, tipped back over by HU. Another free ball. Robrock up top. Haley Cruz off the top of the block, and the lead is now just one. There's been many times you could maybe think about counting the Foresters out, but Kelsey Herber's team continues to find their way back into this match. Terry goes to Vester, Biedenbach up top, left-handed tip, and that one just finds the middle for Nibblelink. Allison, a grad transfer, spent some part of her career at Spring Arbor as well, so she's very familiar with the Crossroads League. Biedenbach, the setter, Kron. Robrock, a little miscommunication, but does set up Cruz, who tips it over. Seymour and Whitaker keep it alive. Payne back row swing. Thompson, Robrock, Kron. Big swing, Meyer has to keep it in. Robrock has to tip it over with the left hand. Free chance for Bethel with Whitaker, and she finds the back line. assist as it's another service error for the Pilots, but 40 assists now for Biedenbach. She's well over 1,000 already this season. Now approaching 1,100 once she has eight more. Robrock goes to Franz. Seymour off the blockers. Layla Meyer to Robrock in the middle for Carter blocked away. HU does keep it alive. Cruz has a chance. Cross court, Payne. Biedenbach, Seymour again, tapped over. And HU's gonna have to send it over free. And a mistake made on the back line by Payne. HU back within one. Miscommunication from the Pilots has the Foresters trying to tie it up here in the fourth. The lone senior, Robrock. With the serve. France. Biedenbach. Whitaker. Cross court. Myers there. Robrock goes over the top to Grimm, and that one's blocked away and almost kept alive by Morgan Robrock, but instead it falls in, and the lead back to two now for the Pilots. Kron nearly went head first into bleachers there, but smart decision saves herself from a potential injury. 15-13, Cheyenne Seymour. Robrock up top, Grimm pokes it over. That's saved there by the setter, Biedenbach. Soft shot by the Pilots. Meyer's gonna have to set up Grimm. Off the blocks, Courtney keeps it alive. Back row swing from Kron and just not enough on it. Now the lead up to three for the Pilots. Seymour, the second leading attacker here tonight for Bethel, now serves again. This one's a little long. Cuts the lead back to two. Haley Cruz can be a dangerous server for this Forrester side. She'll get a chance here to cut into this two-point lead. Cruz, top spinning serve, dug out by Vindel. Badenbach goes over the top and off the top of the blockers goes Whitaker. Pushes the lead back to three for the Pilots. As mentioned, they seem to always have that answer for this Forrester comeback. Vindel, Mason Robrock, Morgan Robrock, Courtney Grimm, back row Seymour. Pilots back the other way. Cheyenne Seymour swings off the top of the net. Morgan Robrock kept it alive. Meyer sets up Grimm off the top of the block. And Delp pushes that one out of play. It's another Forrester kill. H.U. back within two. Have not really been able to tie it up here in this fourth set. Meyer goes to Whitaker. 
Chance up top, tip shot, and once again, this time with the off speed, Payne drops it in. Such a smart player on the attack. Freshman Lily Vester back into serve up three. Bethel trying to close it out. Grimm in Robrock. In the middle, Courtney Grimm's just got to poke it over. Biedenbach not setting that time, but instead playing defense. Meyer sets up Courtney Grimm. Back row swing, cross court. Vester, Biedenbach, and then another chance. Still nothing happening on the attack. Robrock takes a big swing. Delp keeps it alive. Delp now forces one over. Robrock comes out of the back row to save it. Mason with the swing off the blocker and four touches there by the Pilots. And HU back within two. See if HU can get any closer. It'll be Michaela Thompson serving. Thompson, energizer for this team, trying to energize her team back in this fourth set. Big swing, left side, and HU gets a little unlucky as Delp touches that one off the tape and it falls in. France back in to serve. France comes in to serve a lot. She also, great defensive player. 240 receptions on the air, 130 digs. Terry can't get that one to go yet. Robrock goes back row to Cruz. Top spinning ball, able to dive in was Vester. Payne, and once again, Bethel's best player tonight continues to bring it to this Forrester defense, and Coach Herber needs a timeout. 20 to 46 advantage, just five points away are the Foresters from losing this match. But man, it's been a back and forth affair. Really solid play tonight by HU, just facing a really tough team. Another timeout by Kelsey Herber. She's trying to push her team into an upset win tonight. It'll be tough to do, down four, but still a chance. As long as that scoreboard's still ticking, you've got a chance to win the match, and that's what Coach Herber's talking to her team about right now. A little bit of a dance party happening back here on our side. Forrester fans having a lot of fun tonight. 20 to 16 in the fourth set. Pilots trying to move to 24 and five and 12 and five in conference play. Franz over the top. Cruz off the back line. Thompson goes out wide to Mason Robrock. She finds Vester on the other side. Cheyenne Seymour off the top of the block, HU able to keep it alive. Terry pushes one over and down. Using the change up there as the freshman. And she drops one in and pulls HU back within three. Olivia Cron to serve. Not a great reception there by France. It's gonna force a free ball. Thompson. Robrock, Cruz off the block. Back row able to keep it alive as Vindel sent over by Seymour. Another chance for the Foresters. Tip shot and again and Trevin Terry right now going with the soft stuff. HU back within two and Coach Frost needs a timeout as the Foresters continue to rally back here in this fourth set. Trevin Terry has come to life here in this fourth set as she's obviously shown the power this year, but right now hitting that little floating soft shot over the top. She's got six kills, two on the last two plays. Coach Herber trying to will her team back to at least tying it up here in this fourth. 
They've played extremely well tonight, but just a tough side for this Bethel Pilots team as they uh, been resilient all year long. And as mentioned, only five losses, perfect in non-conference play. And their five losses all against ranked or at least receiving votes to be ranked teams in this conference. Olivia Kahn sends it over the top. Good serve. Vester picks it out. Tapped over by Payne. Meyer there to recover. Out wide for Cruz. She's blocked away. Another chance. Back row. Olivia Kron. Big swing. Pilots force it over. Free ball. Robrock. Cruz. Blocked away and down. It's the block from Payne that once again hurts the Foresters. HU had a handful of chances there, just couldn't get one to drop. Serve sent over. Robrock, Trevin Terry. That time she shot it back towards Vester, kept alive. Seymour tips it over. Robrock in Cruz. Tip shot. Cheyenne Seymour there again. Biedenbach able to find an attacker. HU's got to send it over with Thompson. Excuse me, that was Meyer. Seymour big swing, blocked back. And it did head over the net, so it's another Seymour kill. And HU now going to have to rally down four in this fourth set. Serve into the net. Unfortunate skip there for the Foresters as that's another ace. And the Pilots just two points away from putting this one to bed. Matty Payne has been the best player on the court tonight. Almost drops in another left-handed shot. Payne picks it out. Good idea by Robrock as Seymour taps it over. Nearly a free ball. Now one for Carter, and that's punished. Said Carter, it was actually Terry, as those two both react the same when they get a free chance at the net. Terry. Goes right to France. Out wide, Seymour as she rises up and dumps it in front of Trevin. And now it's match point. Nice. 24-19 advantage. Pilots looking for their 24th win of the year. Sent over the top by their setter, Biedenbach. HU back the other way, Carter tips it over. Pilots keep it alive. Back row swing from Payne. Carter off the top of France, still alive, and that one just drops in, and that will end the night for HU. A really hard fought match for the Foresters, but the Pilots at the end of the day just too much. The number 17 team in the country moves to 24 and five. They are now 12 and five in the conference. HU falls to 16 and 13. And now 6 and 11 in conference play. I want to thank you all for tuning in to FDN Sports tonight as the Foresters just narrowly get beat by the Bethel Pilots this evening. And HU will fall, as mentioned, to just three games over 500. This Forester team has been battling hard all year. You see some of these shots that we've got all year long and last. But not least, tomorrow night will be our last chance to watch this team here in Platte Arena this year. A fun game tonight between the Pilots and the Foresters at the end of the day. It'll be HU back in action tomorrow. We'll see you at 250 on FDN Sports. It's on the floor. Oh.